Hello everyone, this is your Lekkal Master Aruhara Gopal. In this video, I am going to discuss the solution of another most beautiful problem which I come across in the recent days. So without wasting time, let me introduce the question. Later on, I will go for the solution. Just have a look here. Solve for integers. 1 by x minus 1 plus 2 by x minus 2 plus 6 by x minus 6 plus 7 by x minus 7 is equal to x square minus 4x minus 4. If you have a look at this entire expression, the people used to think that by seeing this part, it is just a simplification of algebraic expression. Some of people may think that it is a quadratic polynomial finding the roots, but on the whole, they are asking, find the integral solution of this entire equation. How elegantly we are going to solve this particular equation is a very, very important thing here. So entire beauty lies in the elegancy of this solution only. So how we are going to solve this one? So the people used to think that solving algebraic expressions or simplifying algebraic expressions or solving or finding the roots of quadratic polynomials. But in this particular solution, it contains both the things here. So here what I am doing? whatever the minus 4 is appearing here, I am transposing to this side. What you are going to get? It becomes plus 4. So, whatever 1 by x minus 1 plus 2 by x minus 2 plus 6 by x minus 6 plus 7 by x minus 7 plus 4 is equal to x square minus 4x. If you take out x common, x of x minus 4 you are going to get. But here the entire beauty lies in how we are going to use this 4 here. 4 I am writing as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and that 4 ones I am distributing to all the 4 terms here. So what you are going to get? 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 plus 2 by x minus 2 plus 1 plus 6 by x minus 6 plus 1 plus 7 by x minus 7 plus 1. So if you take sum of first two parts here, 1 by x minus 1 plus 1, if you do simplification of this one, you are going to get x minus 1 as the LCM. So, 1 plus x minus 1 you are going to get in the numerator. This plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So, on the whole you are going to get x by x minus 1. So, 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 you are going to get x by x minus 1. Similarly, if you take the second part 2 by x minus 2 plus 1, here also you are going to get x by x minus 2 only. So, on the whole, after simplification of all these 8 terms, nothing but adding 1 to each term. So, you are going to get x by x minus 1 plus x by x minus 2 plus x by x minus 6 plus x by x minus 7. Here, we got x of x minus 4. If you do transposing of this side and if you take out x common, you are going to get x of some big bracket. So, what is this? product of x and another bracket is equal to 0, which means that either x equal to 0 or this bracket is going to be equal to 0. If x equal to 0, this is also going to be one integral solution for the given question. So, x equal to 0 is going to be one integral solution for the given equation. What does it happen when this particular bracket is equal to 0? So, let me transpose this x minus 4 to this side. Have a look at this particular part. 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 by x minus 2 plus 1 by x minus 6 plus 1 by x minus 7, whatever the four terms are there. Here, I am just pairing up in some logical way. 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 by x minus 7, I am taking. Again, 1 by x minus 2 plus 1 by x minus 6, I am taking. If you do simplification of these two brackets, you are going to get x square minus 8x plus 7 as the denominator. And if you do simplification of numerator, you are going to get 2x minus 8. The same thing if you do x square minus 8x plus 12, you are going to get and the numerator, you are going to get 2x minus 8. Observe carefully, it is 2x minus 8, 2x minus 8. Here we got x minus 4. Again, transpose to this side and take out x minus 4. So, x minus 4 of something you are going to get. So, either x minus 4 equal to 0 or this bracket is going to be equal to 0. If x minus 4 equal to 0, x equal to 4 is going to be another integral value which satisfies the given equation. Then what about this bracket? If this bracket is equal to 0, how we are going to simplify this one? Just for calculations comfortness, let me assume whatever that 
there in the denominator x square minus 8x plus 7 as something p. So if you do that one on simplifying you are going to get a quadratic equation in terms of p. So if you go for the solving of this quadratic equation you never get a integral root or integral value for p. If you are not going to get integral value of p definitely whatever the p we assumed x square minus 8x plus 7 in that case also you are not going to get integral value for x so that what we can understand x equal to 0 and x equal to 4 are only the integral solutions of given equation even if you solve this one you may get some real numbers for p but you are not going to get integral value so strictly they are still solve for integers that is why x equal to 0 and x equal to 4 are only the integral roots or integral solutions of given expression are given equation so my dear children how beautifully we can solve this complicated equations this is one of the best example the entire beautiness is lies in how we are going to use uh, that four and splitting as one plus one plus one plus one something like that so my dear children hope you enjoyed this small problem in the next video we will meet with another interesting problem until then take care bye bye you are like a master